Hello, I'm going to show you the template for hiking tracking. Uh, the example I'm showing you right now come from Telemark County in Norway. So I'm going to go over. First of all, this is the application symbol. This is the symbol that will be shown as the symbol of your app on the user's phone. On the left side here you can see available gadgets and here you can see the gadgets already there. I'm going to go over that. This picture is taken actually by my son, so you can add your own photos and use as a background. Also make unique logos to make your application stand out from the templates. If you have this or want this, contact us on support because we need them to adjust your account uh, to avoid um, logos being uploaded with white backgrounds and stuff like this. So this is in Norwegian. So this is actually the About Us gadget. Uh, the About Us gadget you can find here. So whatever you choose to name this gadget, you will always be able to identify it easily here, as you can see it under. So if you want to rename it, just press, type in whatever you want, and hit the Enter. Then it's there. So under the About Us, as you can see, we have several gadgets here. We have added other gadgets. So one of them is Facebook. So here you can see the Tourist Federation for Telemark County. Uh, visit Norway and so on and if you press on them you will automatically read the feeds uh, on the latest that's been happening here. It's up to you if you want to have these gadgets or not but it's here in the template setup. Uh, to add the content here is very easily just press on this one edit go into which uh, one you want to change and add the URL to the, the unique Facebook page that you want to synchronize the contents with. Or you can remove this. Then again, the menu I'm showing you right now is Norwegian. When you're logging from um, US and stuff like this, or Russia, whatever, uh, of course the menu will be adjusted to your uh, language. Uh, also, if we go back here, you have a guestbook function. So here you have a welcome message. You can also uh, as a user, search when you have a lot of guests uh, uh, adding here. And you also have contact us. So for example, what we have done here is that uh, contact us and add a picture from your trip. Uh, you as the app owner will then get the notification by email with a photo. And if you later want to add that, you can add that in the picture gadget. I'm soon going to show you that one. Um, you also have a description and you have a map function if you have like an office or the app owner itself. Uh, then again we have the trip counter, so that's this one. Uh, for that we are actually using a functionality called stamp. Um, so here you can see the different mountain top. Uh, in Telemark Norway they have uh, 10 tops that they are tracking. So for each and every time you get in there uh, you will get an automatically stamp. So let's see on this stamp, it's called Vialus. Uh, so we press here, edit, and we have a title. So the title is saying register your tour. We also want to have unlimited stamps because if someone goes up there a hundred times, we don't want to limit them uh, by that. But also if you have like, uh, you need uh, 10 times to qualify and stuff like this, you can set that. Also some description about this mountain top. Also the message that comes up after you have used it. Your trip is registered, it says there. Here you can see the, the stamp that's in there when you haven't uh, checked in and when you have. You can also choose to have a code, but for this one we have wanted uh, to be summit by geolocation. As you can see here, it automatically com comes up with unnamed road. So the reason for this is that this is a mountain top, so there is no address there. So for that, you need to have the GPS um, coordinates that you can also find on the, using this link here and, and add in the location itself. We also have the radius. So this is set to 259 meters. So it means that when you are within that circle, uh, you will be able to check in. You can adjust this back and forward as you like yourself. Uh, also the intervals that will be shown when you stamp in, we want to have in minutes. This is not that huge mountaintop, so we have a limitation of one hour, 
because you actually have people running up and down there four or five times per day and uh, each and every time it takes about an hour up and down. Uh, you can also set days, of course, maximum one per day. This is really up to you. So I'm not going to do any changes here because this is actually a live app. So I'm just going to close this. Um, and it's up to you if you want to have several or if you want to have one. This can be used for geographical checkpoints in a city. Uh, Tourist Federation want to have people visiting different sites, uh, lakes, mountains, and stuff like this. You need to be aware that you need to have uh, low, at least, GPS coverage when you're there because you need to have some data signalizing that you're actually there. Uh, here we added also sponsors. So if you want to have sponsors to your app, uh, like this one, we have uh, sponsors with Apps Maker Store with some information about that and stuff like this, you can. Um, be aware that you can also add pictures here if you're just taking up from presentation materials and stuff like this. Uh, we also have the weather here. So <laughs> the weather can change, uh, as we know, um, drastically from from, the, from from where you are. So the weather gadgets is down here and it's actually also measuring uh, the tides. So if we go down to the weather, you just go in here and you add the different location in the same settings um, and, and you can have the precise weather there. Yeah. Um, you can add photos to the app itself easily. You can go in here and have photos. So this is a photo. It's actually a photo of my son on a trip that we did. So it was a very nice trip. I had some descriptions about that and stuff like this. Easy. Also, if you want to have some videos from the from the tour, you can do that. So here you can preview the same as you can see on YouTube, uh, the different times, and you can probably find a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, on people going to that mountain top so that you can add. It's, it's a nice thing. Also, if you want to send push notifications to your users that, for example, on this and this lake or mountain top, we have uh, a barbecue or something like this, you go into the message board. You choose here where it's going to be saved. Uh, it's going to be saved in the guest book. And you press now or you can press later. If you press later, comes up the calendar, you choose the date and time zone, your time zone, and that's it. Choose which platform, and you type in the message. So when you start typing here, you can see it's changing here. So don't have more than 168 bytes. Uh, for having this application on to uh, iTunes and Google Play, you need your own developer account. This is the same as your website where you need a domain. So you can get this directly on Google Play Developer Console. You can search that up, or you can search for the iTunes App Developer Program. Any of those searches will bring you to those sites. Uh, Apple have uh, a one-time price of $25 as now, January 2016, and uh, iTunes take $99 per year. So this means that your application will also come up by either the organization name, um, that, that's the owner of the app, or your name as the owner of the app. It's 100% up to you if you want to sell this app, or if you want to have it free for you users to download. You need to be aware that both Apple and Google take 30% of the revenue, the rest is yours. We don't interfere with that at all. So that's basically it, and you have to remember that you have support here, we will also upload the application for you and, um, and support you all the way. So that's it and sorry for the last one there was the Skype coming up but um, I hope that's good and take care and uh, welcome as our customer.